Hi everyone, welcome to Inktober week one. So I thought instead of filming and uploading my sketch every single day for this week of Inktober, what I would do was just carry on doing my sketches myself and then at the end of each week do a kind of recap of what I'd done that week. So um, bearing in mind here that I am by no means an artist, I did take art in school and loved it and you know was really into it and then I haven't really drawn for several years. It's only been about in the past five months or so that I've really got back into art again. So I've really got a lot to learn because um, I've kind of forgotten everything that I did learn at school. So I'm relearning and um, this month especially I've been trying out new like mediums and stuff because I've never I've never worked with Indian ink or anything before. So um, that's been fun and a bit of a challenge. I have done a few days of just drawing with my pro markers, brush markers and some Copics because as much as they are alcohol markers, they are, they're ink, there's ink in markers. So I've been using markers as well. So I have been following the official prompts and day one's prompt was swift. So what I did was I drew, um, I took a quote from Jonathan Swift, who is the author of Gulliver's Travels. Um, and so I took a quote by him and then I just drew what I, I kind of thought of when I saw that quote. So the quote is, a wise person should have money in their head but not in their heart. And so I drew an owl's head just for the kind of wise element of it. And then I drew its head kind of opened up with money in it and like a brain and stuff because I just thought it looked pretty cool with um, making it a bit kind of weird with a brain and things like that in there. And so I used all pro markers and brush markers for this one. So then day two's prompt was divided. Initially what I wanted to do was kind of two hands reaching towards each other but not quite touching and so the people were like divided. But I drew one hand and that was enough for me. So instead I um, drew like some, like a wedding ring and an engagement ring falling from that hand like it was had been thrown away. And um, that was what my kind of divided element was. So this is the first day I started using Indian ink and I also used um, some masking fluid to mask out these little kind of flowery leafy shapes and some kind of little shapes coming down with the rings. So there's one ring here and let me see and one ring just here and um, they did get a little bit lost in amongst this but again you know what I'm learning so that's something I just need to learn. I added some silver embossing powder to this as well just to kind of give it the rings a bit of shine and these kind of like wispy little tendrils coming down from the hand, I gave a bit of shine, but I think again, I went a bit overboard with the embossing powder and the rings are kind of lost in there. But um, yeah, I had fun kind of using my own hand for reference, learning to draw hands properly and just kind of messing about with the Indian ink and just having a blast with that and just seeing what I could come up with. So day three was poison. And again, I wanted to use the Indian ink and I wanted to work on drawing like faces, but from different angles. So my idea was to have a face kind of tipped back um, with the eyes white out and um, veins visible up the face and stuff. But I kind of, I'll just show you here. I kind of just lost a bit in the perspective of it. Maybe that would look better. There we go, tip it like that, it looks much better. So again, I'm kind of learning that I had to work on my different angles, like faces from different angles and stuff I have to work on. But again, I had fun with the ink, just kind of mucking about and just seeing what I could come up with using Indian ink. So day number four was underwater and um, I actually went out and bought myself some coloured inks. Now these are just kind of cheap coloured inks. They're from the works and they're, they're called acrylic inks. So they're not quite as fluid as like my Indian ink is. They do kind of work more like um, acrylic paint kind of thing, but it says acrylic ink and they come in a little dropper bottle. So it's totally ink. So I did underwater. Um, I enjoy the face of this guy. That his face is it all colored in with pro markers and brush markers. I use some masking fluid for the little bubbles and things. What I'm annoyed with is that I left far too obvious uh, kind of skull line like the shape of his head in there really annoying me I don't really know how to fix it because I kind of did it with black ink I was trying to kind of create shadows in there for his, his head like where his hair met his head and it just it didn't work out quite as well as I intended it to but again learning I'm just going to be like picking at little things in all of these um but yeah I'm just I'm learning day five's prompt was long and originally I'd planned on just drawing like a kind of long winding road going up a little hill 
and doing some buildings and stuff, but that just didn't really, that's just not really me. I'm not great at drawing buildings and architecture and things. It's not really me. So instead I drew a giraffe and um, I like him. I drew like an extra long neck, like no giraffe's neck is that length in comparison with his face. Also, um, his face is pretty heavily referenced from a photo of a giraffe. So, like it's fine, but it's just, it's a very nothing kind of picture to me. Like it just was a quick one just to get that day by because I couldn't really think of anything. So day number six, the prompt was sword. Mine turned out more like a dagger, but what I really wanted to try in this one was a different art style altogether. So I decided to try trash polka um, and it was fun. So I drew a little dagger here, which is supposed to be a sword obviously. And um, yeah, I did some, this is all red ink, kind of obvious brush strokes coming off it and a lot of kind of splattering and little dots painted in bits of pattern and stuff. And um, yeah, it was good fun. But again, this is just not really my style and so as much fun as it was to do I'm probably not going to go back and do something like that again because it just felt very much like I was trying to copy a style rather than it being natural to me to do that style so it was fun but I'm, I'm not going to do it again so yesterday was day seven and the prompt was shy um I'm happy with the main element of this picture but the background not so much because it was getting kind of late last night and so I just kind of scribbled it in and it was fine but it's, it's not the best so um, I debated just drawing somebody being shy, maybe hiding behind hands and things like that. But instead I decided to do um, a kid being just shy of the height requirement to get on a ride. So um, this is what I drew. This is my little kid and he is not tall enough to ride. And he's very sad about it. I like his little sad face. So yeah, so I'm getting better at drawing faces I think. Um, but the background I just ended up kind of scribbling and I thought I had a better transition colour between this dark green and the light but I didn't so I just tried to transition it as best I could but it wasn't great. So that was that was the seven days so far. Um, I'm finding my own style, I'm having fun with it, I'm definitely having fun with the inks, I'm not entirely sure you know how to best work with ink so that's a learning curve for me. But it's fun and it's been a great first seven days. If you're doing Inktober, um, link me to your Instagram or whatever you're posting things on down below. I am posting my Inktobers every day on my own Instagram. And yeah, so go and check that out. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you're doing it. And I'll see you all next week for next week's Inktober. See you next time. Bye.